In this video, we're going to take a look at the difference between the classic Ingersoll cylinder and the multi-lock equivalent. So let's start off by looking at the classic cylinder. It's a fairly ubiquitous sight on doors um, around the country, and that's what you'd be looking at um, most of the time. You might have a cylinder pull on it as well. It would look slightly different. I'll show you that actually. This is what the optional cylinder pull looks like. And it slips over the cylinder like that, and then it gives you something to pull the door shut with, which is quite useful. The classic cylinder is um, will, will sit like that in your door with the keyway vertical. And upon insertion of the key like this, the hole on the key ring side should be at the lowest most point, nearest the ground, as you can see. And on the inside, we've got the four fixing screws. So these are the screws that hold it to the back plate. And the item there with my thumb that I'm wiggling is the connecting bar, and that goes into the back of either the SC71 or the SC73 lock case. So the Classic is supplied with three of these Classic Ingersoll S-section keys. And this is where some of the differences start to creep in, which I'll explain. So these keys, when they were first designed, many decades ago were patented. So it was a patent protection. No blanks were issued to the trade. So nobody could cut any keys other than Ingersoll themselves. And that gave you protection on production of additional keys. Um, over the years, eventually the patents expired. The blank manufacturers do make blanks um, that uh, locksmiths will attempt to cut the keys on um, with varying degrees of uh, quality of key cutting resulting from that trace copying process and if you do need any keys like this order them on the ingersolllocks.co.uk website so you'll get original keys cut to code and not copied and copy keys um, will eventually damage your lock so you always want originals but with the expiry of the patent there came a, a requirement from clients to have a, a key system for their ingersoll that would give them um, some uh, control over the production of additional keys. So in steps the multi-lock cylinder, which is a replacement cylinder um, that fits in place of the classic SC1 cylinder, but it uses a multi-lock key platform, and in this case it's the integrator platform. Multi-lock is an innovative Israeli company um, that makes security locks that's owned by Asa Abloy, who, um, I think it says it on there, Asset Abloy Group brand, who also own Ingersoll. Uh, the multi-lock is supplied with two keys um, uh, rather than three and comes with this um, key registration card or this key duplication card. And uh, what that's used for is if you need additional keys, you need to go to a participating multi-lock center who cuts the integrator platform and they can on production and only on production of that card and your key will they cut a key for you. So that gives you more security. So in the circumstances, say you've given a key to temporarily to someone like a house guest or a builder or something, and they give you the key back at the end, you can be reasonably sure, not certain, but reasonably sure that they haven't had a key cut. I say not certain because there are people that um, will counterfeit the keys and will just try and clone the key um, unofficially. They're not supported by multi-lock. Um, and it is, a, it is a breach of the copyright of multi-lock and they shouldn't be doing it, but it does happen to a small extent. But you can be reasonably sure that that hasn't happened um, and your uh, key hasn't been copied. So the multi-lock cylinder is going to sit on your door like this um, with the keyway horizontal instead of vertical. It's a bit easier to use because the key can go in either way, uh, like a car key, So and it'll still operate. So I've put the key in that way, you see with the blue face facing up. And now I've swapped it around and you can see the grey piece sticking up so it will still operate in either of those uh, directions. The back of the cylinder, uh, let's put it so that the top of the cylinder is there. So that's the top of the cylinder that's sitting on your door that way. And it only uses three of those um, four fixing holes. That's because this last one is blanked off because that's where the mechanism is of the cylinder. That's where all the pins are. The advantage is really in the key um, duplication. Security wise, these are slightly inferior to the classic that I've got here because the classic has this, this uh, hardened spring steel shroud around it, 
uh, and this this section here is drill resistance. It's all drill and prize resistant, whereas this is just a, a block of alloy. Um, it still takes some getting into, um, but the the classic is the stronger of the two by a little bit. If you want control over your keys, then you, you'd be looking at the multi-lock version. So you can fit the this cylinder, the multi-lock version, which comes in two colors, this polished brass. There's also the cylinder pool, same as I showed earlier in the video, or polished chrome. No satin chrome at the moment, although that may be coming, whereas the classic comes in this polished chrome, polished brass, or satin chrome. This will fit anywhere that a classic has been installed previously, or on a new installation, you can opt to have this cylinder with your new Ingersoll SC71 lock. Um, link, a link to the product is in the video description, or indeed with your SC73 lock. Placing your order on our website, you can choose to have as many extra keys as you need. It's just a little drop down. You just select the finish and how many keys you want. And that's really it, nothing else to say. Um, if you do enjoy this type of content, please click on the um, subscribe button, which actually will be at the bottom right hand corner of your screen throughout the video. Uh, subscribe and like this video if you want to. Thank you very much for watching.